Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brandy and you're watching The Glam Bell and today we're doing something a little bit different. I'm actually straightening my hair today. Don't call the curly hair police, but it's happening. There's actually a few reasons why I wanted to do this video. One is because I simply wanted to change up my hair. I have not straightened my hair in so, so long because I love my curls and really love having my curly hair, which is so amazing because there was a time where I couldn't say that. I really wanted to straighten my hair every single day of my life because I didn't know what to do with my curls. So now the roles are reversed and I really love my curls. I can say that wholeheartedly. That doesn't mean that I don't want to change up my hair sometimes. And yes, I could totally go out and get a straight haired wig and wear that. It is not the same. I've tried to wear wigs. They are not the most comfortable thing in the world. They're kind of a pain to put on and you know, at the end of the day, it's just not the same as having your own hair straight. The other reason I wanted to do this video is because there is a product that I have been dying to test out. And I was kind of like on the fence. I wasn't sure if I wanted to purchase this product, but I saw so much hype around it that I just felt like this is something that I really wanted to test out and see if it really lived up to the hype. This product right here, this is the Revlon Salon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. It has the power of a dryer, the volume of a styler, and it gives smooth blowouts in half the time. I have seen a few people use this and everyone that I've seen that has used this absolutely loves it. I'm not sure how this works on like super curly hair. I really haven't seen any videos on that. But that is why I'm excited to test this out. I actually did a poll on my Instagram story asking if you guys wanted to see a video testing this out, reviewing this product, and it was like 81 or 82% of you said yes. This video is for you guys out there. On the actual Revlon site, it sells for $59.99. I looked on Amazon and I found this one, which is the like teal kind of blue color. This one on Amazon was $41.99, so I will leave it linked in the description box if you wanna check it out for yourself. If you're not subscribe to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there. Make sure to hit the bell so that you're notified when I upload videos here on YouTube. And without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and take my hair down so we can get this party started. Obviously my hair is freshly washed. I did just deep condition with the melt into moisture from Diva Curl. That way my hair is nice and moisturized since we are gonna be using heat. Really quickly, I just wanna give you some of the details of this brush. It says that it has an oval design, which is true. I actually thought that this was gonna be a little bit smaller than what it is, but that's okay. It has tangle-free bristles. It has unique airflow vents for faster drying time, multiple heat settings, and it has a cool low and high setting. It also has a swivel cord which makes it super easy to not get tangled you know usually when I straighten my hair which has been so long I feel like I really don't know what I'm doing here I section it into four sections but I am gonna kind of do a little bit of a deeper part so I like to go down the back and then right behind my ear and so that would be one section this is one section and then I do the same on the opposite side so I'm just going to Go ahead and section off my hair first. And the very first thing I'm gonna do is use heat protectant. This is super important. If you do ever use heat on your hair, it's so important to use a thermal protectant. This is the one by Cantu. This is the Cantu Shea Butter Thermal Shield Heat Protectant. It protects the hair up to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. So just gonna spray this throughout my hair. Just gonna brush that through. This is just the regular wet brush. I'm not sure how much hair you can do at a time. I feel like you can probably do a lot of hair at one time because this sucker is huge. But here is what it looks like close up. And it has all of these nice little bristles. So hopefully my hair does not get tangled. It is pretty lightweight, so that's good. Now, I don't know by the end if it's still gonna feel lightweight. I think I'm gonna just start with, maybe start with this much and see how it does. No, maybe I feel like I can probably do a little bit more than that. Are we ready? I'm excited. All right, I'm gonna start it out on low. It's very loud, it's very loud. I'm gonna start it out on low and see how that does. And then if it doesn't get it straight enough, then we can move to the high setting.
Okay, so here is the first section and it does look really, really nice. It does look very shiny. I definitely feel like I need to move it to the high setting in order to really get the roots dry. I feel like I had to go over it quite a few times to really get it in at my roots. And in fact, I still feel like the roots might be a little bit damp and that is not something I want when my hair is straight. I don't want my roots to start to curl up, you know what I mean? It does feel like it's kind of tugging at your hair quite a bit in my opinion. I feel like I had to kind of pull harder than I would like to get it through my hair. I do have a few little hairs Few little hairs uh, that did get pulled out, but nothing like when I would try to round brush my hair. Oh my gosh. Whenever I would blow out my hair with just a regular round brush, I definitely felt like I would pull so much hair out. So that's actually not too alarming. I definitely feel like you can't do too thick of a piece because again, I don't feel like you'll be able to really get in at the root, but I'm gonna continue on using like maybe a half inch to an inch section. I am gonna put it on high and see how the high setting does. And I do just like to go through and make sure that there's no tangles. That way I'm not pulling it any more than it has to be pulled with this brush. Okay, next piece is done and still looking very shiny. Yeah, I don't know, it just feels weird to see my hair straight and I don't know. The high setting definitely got the job done much easier and much quicker. It does feel like it gets pretty warm, so just keep that in mind. I'm gonna go ahead and go through the rest of my hair. We will see what my hair looks like all straightened out. This is, this is kind of weird. So here is one side done. My hair does feel very, very soft. Something that I don't really like is the way that my ends are looking. They're looking a little, a little frazzled to me. I don't know, let me go ahead and finish the rest of my head and I'll come back with my final thoughts. So here are my results. It's not bad, it's not bad. This is not what I would consider a salon blowout just because I know if I went to the salon that my ends would look a lot better. I do like the results. I just wouldn't say that I love the results, but overall, I definitely think that this is, if you are someone that straightens your hair or blows your hair out, this is way easier than trying to hold a round brush and a blow dryer, trying to get your arm positioning just right with the blow dryer. That can be very, very difficult. So this is much, much easier in comparison to that. It took me a few sections to kind of like get the hang of what I was doing, how long I needed to hold it, how long I needed to keep it at my roots to get the roots dry. I did keep it on high pretty much the whole entire time. I do feel like having curly hair to start with definitely makes it a little more difficult to get that super sleek look. This is basically on three a 3B hair. The cons to this is that it does get very, very hot. So make sure to use a heat protectant if you do try this out. The other thing is I felt like I had to tug pretty hard on my hair and I definitely have quite a bit of hair in here. If you can see, I did pull out some of my hair, which I kind of figured was probably gonna happen. And I am gonna do a little spin just so that you can see the back as well. What do you guys think of the final results? Honestly, I think part of it is that I'm just, I'm not used to seeing myself with straight hair. So I'm kind of like, oh, 
I don't really know about this. It's just not me, but it'll be me for the next few days. So I'm just gonna embrace it, but I can't wait to hear what you guys think of the results. Let me know if you guys have used this product, what you think of it, or if you are willing to give it a try. There was a lot of hype around this, and I can't say that it lived up to the hype on my hair, but I do feel like this could be an amazing tool for people that don't have maybe as curly of hair that just really want a smoother, more volumized look. That's my final thoughts on it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, of course, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought of the results in the comments below, and I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in my next video. Peace out.